um, Jeff Tricky, Managing Director at Psychological Consultancy Limited. Um, that's a, a, a firm of business psychologists and it's been established for the last 20 years and increasingly we specialised in the area of risk psychology. This course is about risk type. Um, it's a methodology which captures the behavioural biases that we all have in relation to risk. So it's looking at how people differ, um, what's distinctive about those differences, and how it affects their perception of risk and their reaction to risk and also influences their willingness to take risks and all that feeds into their decision making. A purpose for coming on the course I think is to address what I see as the, the weaknesses in risk management methodologies. Um, currently risk management relies heavily on general management technologies, ideas like Lean, Six Sigma, Agile, uh, Critical Path Analysis and so on. And that leads to a more of a systems approach, but obviously risk, disaster, um, uh, and when things go seriously wrong, it's individuals that are holding the smoking gun, so to speak. So knowing the individual differences that influence people and characterize them um, is important for risk management in general but at, not at a systems level. So this course is really about bringing things on to a, an individual level, or a people level, and bringing that, including that, in the agenda um, and giving you a toolkit with which to manage it. I think the three things that risk managers don't do very well um, are, first of all, uh, appreciating the individual differences that lie behind people's risk-taking behaviour, um, that's the first thing. I think secondly, they, although there's um, a willingness to address risk in a positive light, I suppose reflected in phraseology like risk enterprise risk management, in actual fact the profession is still predominantly concerned with risk avoidance. And there's a whole agenda out there which is about the positive management risk as well. So that's the second thing. And I think the third thing is that if you really want to get to grips with culture, you can't do that without getting to grips with individuals. Without individuals, there is no culture. And so it's a matter of uh, the people making the place. And if you can't differentiate the people, then your ability to grasp what is meant by the culture, other than in an incredibly generalized uh, sort of way is very limited. So I think it's a difference, overall, it's a difference in perspective. Coming at risk from the point of view of individual differences is very different uh, to looking at risk from the point of view of systems and methods and blanket approaches to things. Uh, what you'll take away from the course is an understanding um, about assessment of individual differences in propensity for risk and in order to do that the tool that we will introduce you to is called the Risk Type Compass. It allocates individuals on the basis of their personality um, into one of eight different risk types, each very distinctly different from the other. Um, so that's, that's a, a methodology, it's a way of understanding the inbuilt bias in people's approach to risk and it also influence, it enables you to manage risk positively because half of those types are quite positive about risk. They're adventurous and carefree and excitement seeking types of people. Um, and the other half are people who are more risk averse. So it's about having the ability to match people to functions, if you like, um, so that when you're dealing with, for example, uh, the marketing department and the sales departments, there'll be anything but, but risk averse um, and it's worth understanding that when you're trying to influence them about the procedures and policies of the organization with regard to risk and then at the other extreme there are people who are well suited to uh, roles within the organization which are much more painstaking detail conscious and risk averse uh, finance for example and compliance and of course risk management